please excuse me if you're a bit of an older subscriber. I've sort of mentioned this before, but I wanted to add some new information. So a lot of mythologies with David Lynch and Dune is that he never wanted to do it. He did it very reluctantly. And when it was a failure, he disowned it and he just considered it a complete disaster. He doesn't want to talk about it anymore. But if you go patiently through the evidence, David Lynch was not just committed to one Dune movie. He was, in fact, committed to a trilogy. And we know from his own mouth that he was writing Dune 2. Now, whether he was writing the script for Dune 3, that I can't say. But he was, in fact, committed to an entire Dune trilogy. But when Dune had very disappointing box office and the critical reception was mostly negative, he basically has been for a long time mythologizing a false narrative. Now, to be fair to him, sometimes he does tell the truth here and there. Right, he did enjoy himself while making the film. He did like aspects of Dune, but overall he didn't really like what happened. But again, you go through the day-to-day -day evidence when it was actually made, but it's not the way he felt. So we're gonna listen to Virginia Madsen, who has some interesting insights into her playing Uriolan and how she got the role, and confirming sort of just by accident, because she's not trying to contradict David, she just happens to mention that yes, there was a trilogy planned. And she saw that Polaroid and picked me. Right. And the record does suggest that you were yeah. selected by a poet. And I, I think he said I had a classic look. <laughs> and my wife made me <laughs> But anyway, I got the part. And the great thing about that part was it was essentially my big break. Yes. Really, all I had to do was that monologue. And I was really a glorified extra. But it was a three picture deal. It was. Because they tied you up for the sequels? Or? Yeah, it, it, they, were, they, they thought they were going to make Star Wars for right. grown-ups. of course. And it didn't work out that way. Uh, and, but I got to be in these great scenes. I didn't have too much to do, which is good for a beginner. Mm -hmm. and, but how big and elaborate. And it was, it, it was, you know, Sting was running around with just, you know, this gold jock strap and As nothing on. As he does every night and, in my dreams. Oh, my God. And I was just kind of like, hi. <laughs> so that's pretty fascinating because I think most people assumed that perhaps Lynch was going to do just essentially Dune 1. That would be the end of it. And if it was perhaps a big hit, maybe he'd do something like production or even the script. But he wasn't really committed to the Dune universe, right? Because he's an auteur. He just did it that one. He admits it for the money, right? He basically looked on it as a mainly commercial venture. He obviously did like Dune, the novel, but it was mostly a career thing. He really is not a big fan of science fiction. His basic thing is usually noirs and or horror or older films, classical films, experimental films. Those are more what he's into. But as Virginia Madsen has pointed out, no, the contractually when they signed her, they signed her for three movies. That's very, very telling because definitely in Dune Messiah, her is a major character. But if they signed her for three films, Presumably, they were even planning Children of Dune when they were doing Dune 1. So, despite what people think that Dune 1, the way it was marketed and planned, was just a kind of solo effort with David just there for that one film. Nope, they were planning a whole Dune universe, they were planning a trilogy, they really had a very ambitious plan for Dune, but again, the box office was very disappointing, so those plans were basically thrown out. And we just have that one film, but it was not meant to be just an isolated film. A lot of what we see in Dune 1 was meant to be followed up in Dune Messiah and presumably Children of Dune. So a lot of what we see in Dune 1 was eventually going to be paid off in Dune Messiah and presumably Children of Dune. So when people say, well, we really only have the Lynch version and the only trilogy we have so far is the sci-fi version, that's not completely accurate. They did plan a trilogy in the 1980s and Denis has confirmed he wants to do a trilogy as well. But I know how this myth-making goes in Hollywood, and I know in the future they'll say, wow, we really only have two trilogies in, the, in a couple of years, right? We have the sci-fi version, we have the Denis version. No, being totally accurate, we actually had three. One of them was a prototype, true, but no, there were basically three trilogies planned. Two of them were fully executed, but one of them was stopped because of disappointing box art. It's an interesting story. It's actually an interesting thing to speculate with Hodorowsky as well, whether he would have done a trilogy or whether he was just going to do that one project and that was it because that's an insanely ambitious thing. Whatever you think about his plans, that's a huge, massive project. So presumably, maybe that just one film would have been enough for him because I can only imagine a Hodorowsky trilogy would be, what, 30, 50 hours? It could have been an insane amount of time. 
it's not right to say we have one Dune trilogy and one is coming out with Denis Villeneuve, right? Because I assume the sequel will be successful and that he will do Dune Messiah. We have actually three trilogies, but they're in various stages of planning. But with one of them, we have it fully realized with the sci-fi version. The other one, I think, is going to be planned by Denis very soon. He's probably going to give us more and more hints about what they're going to do with Dune's sequel. But again, Lynch was committed to a trilogy as well. So just to be accurate, there really were, quote unquote, three trilogies planned, at least so far. Thanks for listening.